What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you comment anything down in the comment section and enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Thank you guys for joining me as always, man. We had been hot and then last night, Donovan Mitchell was absolute garbage. We had Jordan Clarkson, which was such a finesse move, man. Dropping 44 at 4-1. But... Donovan Mitchell screwed it all up. It could have been huge. Annoying, but it is what it is. Um, on this first look of this slate, this slate has some amazing matchups, some amazing narratives with this Lakers game, and some uh, amazing injury bumps. All right, and we're going to get straight into it. Now, we got Luka Doncic out. So, obviously, Jalen Brunson and Christos Porzingis are in fantastic spots. Both of these guys are going to be in play until Luca returns, all right, period. Now, Porzingis at 6'8", I'm seeing a 40-plus game. I don't really need to probably explain him much because, I mean, dude, no Doncic. His usage goes skyrockets, and Jalen Brunson, same with him. He's going to start at point guard, and at 3'8", the dude was a walking 30 earlier on in the year when Luka missed. So don't overthink it. Jalen Brunson and Porzingis with no Luka on the floor. Luka's such a high usage player. With him off the floor, I mean, these guys are going to get huge bumps. Jalen Brunson's locked. Porzingis, I know he had been coming back and having his minutes monitored a bit. With Doncic out, they're going to need him. So he's probably going to play about 30 minutes here, I'd expect. Okay? So I really like Luka. Uh, I mean, Christos Porzingis. Now, Shy Gilchrist Alexander. This dude went from 7-3. He not only has he been playing well, he's been playing well. In his last game, he was priced at 7-3. I believe he got 38. That's off the top of my head. I'm not 100%. I believe he got 38 fantasy points. Okay? Then they dropped his price to 6-7. Okay? He has been playing solid, and they dropped his price by $600. All right, I just love the the discount that we're getting on him. Okay, really, it was between Gilchrist Alexander and Ja Morant when Jaron Jackson out in a great matchup, obviously against New Orleans. Okay, it's him or Ja Morant. That's all I'm gonna say in this high five. You can go either one of those guys, but Gilchrist Alexander took a huge, not I mean it's not gigantic, but he took a nice price decrease, and he's been playing solid in a good matchup against Phoenix. So I'll take some shy Gilchrist Alexander. Next up, LeBron James. The dude literally in his Instagram post to Kobe said he was going to put this shit on his back. And I fully expect him to be telling the truth. Okay, him and Kobe were super close. We all know that. Um, LeBron was super close to the family. He was, he knew Gigi well, all that, like, you know, that type of thing. Like he is super pumped up to really go out here and put this shit on his back for real. And pretty much now, I mean, the Lakers are going to win it all. I mean, it's, I mean, uh, LeBron seems to be pretty heated. He seems to be maybe not, not heated, but motivated. He's going to go out here and really have a great game here. Um, narrative wise, matchup wise, LeBron James is a great play at 10, three. All right. Um, next up, Jonas Valanciunas at 6-3 against New Orleans is pretty much a lock with no Jaron Jackson. All right, Jaron Jackson is out, and so that boosts up Brandon Clark, who's, I believe, 4-6, and that boosts up Jonas Valanciunas, okay? You are missing a guy, a power forward. Big men are going to get a bump. Jonas Valanciunas is going to smash here at 6-3, and he's most likely locked for me. I will have him almost in every version. Brandon Clark is also a very good option as well, under 5K that you need to get exposure to, too, because the dude can put up points in limited minutes. Okay? And that's it. Jalen Brunson, Shy Gilchrist Alexander, or John Morant. It was a I was torn between the two. Um I have Shy very slightly ahead, but it's very, very close. Okay. LeBron James, Porzingis, and Jonas Valanciunas is the high five. Thank you guys for joining me as always. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad. Let's smash. Let's start this weekend off with a bang. And I am out. Peace.